In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this generative design in just a few nodes. The design can be made to react with music in quite interesting ways. To get started, we need to create a line using a very thin rectangle. So let's start with a polygon. We want to scale it vertically. And I'm going to do it 0 0.003. Since I want to rotate lines about the center, let's add a rotate node. And I'm going to translate it a bit to the left. This line will be duplicated by the iterator node. And to control the number of lines, I'm going to create a global. I'll call that this iters, short for iterations. It's up to you how many iterations you choose, but I'm going to choose 180. Different values would give you will give you different designs. And while I'm here, I'll create a few more global variables. Okay, I'll use these variables in an expression in a little while. Now we're ready to repeat the line. So I need to insert an iteration node. And I'm going to set this, the source of this value, to be the global I created for the number of iterations. And I'm going to set this value to the internal iteration number. And I'm going to set an expression and divide it by the number of iterations. So we're almost there. Next, let's scale the length of each line using a simple trigonomet trigonometric function and according to its iteration number. So scale that by iteration number. And then put an expression on there. And if I just show the code, we have, <clears throat> well, let's use a sign and We'll just up that, update that now. You can see what it does. Already quite getting a bit more interesting. But we need a bit more control over it. And this is where those global variables come in. So, let's have the frequency times the iterator number. plus the phase, and then we'll multiply the whole thing by the amplitude. And let's update that. And there we go. There's our shape. There's one small optional step to making the scaling a bit more predictable, but it's a bit less interesting. We can move the line on its x-axis by the same amount as the amplitude of the sine wave and then offset that again to create different shapes. So we're going to set this translate to global amplitude. So now when we change the amplitude, you can see that they scale together and the shape stays in place. And then we can add an offset to that. 
and then adjust the shape itself. You can add audio reactivity to any one of these values or any of these. For instance, let's just uh, add uh, an increase to the phase and we get a rotating object. Um, we can add, uh, you can adjust this Y value here and get different shapes. We can uh, change the frequency. Well, this one's a bit a bit sensitive. So I'm going to change it slowly to get more or less leaves. And there's lots of other lots of other things you could possibly do. Anyway, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.